Success! Oh, hi. This is uh, quite the quaint little set. It's uh, Santa's Workshop. And um, it was a set that I really wanted. But it was one of those, you know, exclusive if you buy so much on Lego.com during this window. You, you, know, you know, you can get it for free. Which I never did, but my, uh, my boss, my very, very generous boss, uh, thank you so much, Cassie, um, often she'll receive, uh, the free sets after ordering her Lego, and she never wants them. She's always like, man, I don't need this. Sometimes it's like I had an extra one, but usually it's like I didn't even want this. So she immediately thinks of me and gives it to me, because I'm like the biggest AFOL that she knows. But this particular instance... She uh, handed this to me, and I immediately like lit up like a Christmas tree, no pun intended, and <clears throat> was so excited to build it, and she says, this is for Flynn, and I went, oh, yeah, alright, so I gave it to my son for Christmas, from my boss, but I decided, you know, it being Santa's workshop, it'd be a little, little late on Christmas, so th this was his one... Christmas Eve gift, and uh, he built it last night and had so much fun doing so while we watched the Muppet Christmas Carol, as we do every Christmas Eve, and finally, for the first time, checked out Klaus. Great film. Uh, so this is Santa's workshop. He was going to do the review, <clears throat> but his mother ended up having to pick him up this afternoon, and he spent most of his day playing with his new action figures I got him for Christmas, so he didn't really have time for a review. He said I could go ahead and do it as long as I mentioned a couple of things that he wanted me to mention. And overall, I think this is a fantastic set. I'm really bummed that I didn't get to build it, but it's a nice little quaint set to have. It's like a little corner. I mean, it almost looks like a barn. you got these barn doors here, and they actually open. He was very excited when he was building it, like, oh my gosh, Dad, look, the door's open. I was like, all right, that's gnarly. So I like that. You got some wreaths or mistletoe, what have you, perhaps both. Uh, he wanted to mention he was very excited to get this particular piece in white. He's like, look, it's the little minifigure stands. I was like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's in white for the snow on the roof. I like that. I like the way it's cut away so you have a good corner chunk of the barn. And you also have, uh, is this missing a candle maybe? Might be. I didn't double check this. But anyway, uh, there'd be a cute little window there. But then you also have uh, a chunk taken out of the workshop here, which looks absolutely fantastic. I like here we have, uh, let's see if we can get a slightly closer look. The sticker here is the globe and, you know, the plan for all the, uh, where all the presents are going around the globe. We're prepping for Christmas. And it's like a monitor. You got a little computer there. Perhaps up on the shelf is maybe some paint because the elf here is. Uh, let's get a little, a little closer look here. The elf here is painting the uh, little action figure here, which I love that this set came with two. That's right, two uh, micro figures: the plain white one that he's clearly still working on, and then a uh, gold one here coming up. <clears throat> but the first thing I noticed when my boss handed me the box was on the back. It, this Santa, I believe, has exclusive printing on the back. Okay, I don't know if it's exclusive. It's just, you know, to me it is. Not every Santa has printing on the back. And, and this having the candy cane on the back, I thought, oh, that's terrific. And the first thing I thought of was that horrible movie Violent Night. And I was like, oh, well, maybe now I can make an actual good version of that. Because that movie was garbage. Worst movie I saw all year. Um, so there was that. And then this elf, my son noted that it's a female elf. That's nice. It's not uh, every elf that's, that's, that's female. So it's nice to get some diversity. Lego's been big about diversity this year. For example, in the uh, Lego Star Wars Advent calendar, we got a female snow trooper. So, anywho... Got some nice little gifts around here. It's a quaint little workshop, especially for the size of the set. It's very, it's very uh, 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 lively, I guess, if you will. Um, well, the way they got the build for the slanted roof. My son was enjoying the different building techniques. Very, very clever. But uh, the play feature is awesome because it's got this little conveyor belt 
you lift up the little the little 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 cupboard here and out comes all the toys so apparently this is some kind of machine that makes the toys i mean it's it's 2022 ladies and gentlemen the elves aren't going to do all the work so i'm sure santa has some advances in technology with uh with building his toys um like i said there's that golden micro figure and the first thing my son noticed when he uh, opened the box and poured out all the pieces, he was ecstatic on cloud nine. That here, let's go this way. That it came with not just oh my goodness gracious, not just a video game controller, which he was very excited about in general, but a pink video game controller. So how awesome is that? We have a nice little pink controller that I think is a terrific addition. Uh, my son's current favorite color is pink. I say current because his favorite color has changed many times. And I do believe his favorite color is currently pink because I love pink so much. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorite colors. But little does he know that that's just because of, you know, so many Octobers I've had of F cancer and I love boobies. So for Ble Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I, you know, pink became one of my favorite colors, and it still is one of my favorite colors in general. So I think that's why it became his favorite color. Um, we got these little skates here. So he wanted, uh, particularly, I asked him what he wanted me to point out, and he said the car. He wanted me to point out this awesome little car build. I think he's very proud of this little tiny build, and how it's a little car. So you have these, these all the famous toys that a child might get for Christmas: roller skates, uh, video game. Uh, action figure and a little toy car so a very very nice set that's uh ready to go for playability and and he said it was a fun build and it was very fun to play with so great set especially for a free set how many pieces did it have i don't know it doesn't matter but it's a grand old time and then immediately uh once he was done i started singing one of my favorite uh weird al yankovic songs the night santa went crazy I think he'd forgotten about that. Oh, no, that's right. He did do this right. What am I talking about? It's a light. Yeah. It's a light. We're good. These doors don't, like, stay where they're supposed to stay, which is a bummer. But they do at least not slide off. So at least that's something. And it's nice to have these big barn doors. Oh, were you born in a barn? Close the door. Okay. Uh, but we could reenact the night Santa went crazy. Give him a, a, a rifle in his hand. Put some, put some ammo all over him, some cheap whiskey on his breath. We have a couple of reindeer we could massacre. So that would be very fun if I uh, turned this into The Night Santa Went Crazy. If you're not familiar with that song, uh, go ahead and look it up. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. So my 10-year-old son, who got this for Christmas, loved this set. He enjoyed building it, and he enjoyed playing with it. And I enjoy displaying it and talking about it, and I'm sure we'll... Get some playability out of it as well. Maybe turn it into something, whether it's uh, a good version of Violent Night or an accurate version of The Night Santa Went Crazy. Uh, it's 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 uh, very nice. It also connects with the other set they came out with earlier this year with the elves and the ice skating. I don't have that one, but I got the ones with uh, with the reindeer and the North Pole signs. So maybe we'll we'll make some more out of it. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, there you have it. A nice set. Happy Christmas, and uh, don't forget tomorrow's Boxing Day. Enjoy Boxing Day on December 26th, which, you know, people think Canadians are crazy. What is that when you open your present? No, no, no. Boxing Day is when, uh, after we're so indulged, especially in this uh, uh, selfish country of the U.S. of A., you get so much crap for Christmas that you don't need. Why not box up some of the other crap that you never touch or look at and don't need and donate it to the needy? So that's what Boxing Day is, is more of like, since we all just spoiled ourselves and each other, let's spend the next day giving to those in need. Because notice how, how Christmas is, is, is about giving, but it's about giving to people who don't need things or what have you sure there's charitable people out there don't get me wrong but all in all boxing day is to remind everyone let's all 
box up something that we no longer use and give it to someone who might appreciate it a hundred times more than you. So, in fact, Santa's ready to go. These, these, these aren't for Christmas. These are for Boxing Day, darn it. Christmas, he gives the toys to all the rich kids, and then Boxing Day, he gives them to all the poor kids. I don't know. I got nothing. Forgive me. Uh, happy Christmas, and okie dokie. Happy Boxing Day. Merry Christmas. Happy, but Merry, Merry, Happy Christmas. Merry Boxing Day. No, don't. Mer well, okay. Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day. Okie dokie.